Oh man, have I got a good one for you guys today. Controversy in Pokemon. Yes, that's right. Back in the days, like all popular things, there is always a surge of controversy, no matter what it is, whether it be racism, uh, religious views, whatever. It always seems to follow something that is popular. First, let's start with some small stuff, like the band episodes. Look to your link to the upper right of this video, right up there, and uh, you'll come to a link that to Cerebi.net. Let's start out with episode 18, Holiday at Acapallo, or the US name Beauty and the Beach. It was banned because James was given cleavage so he could win a beauty contest. <laughs> so look at this picture right here. Yeah, go to this, go to that page, look at this picture, and laugh, laugh hard. So I guess since James got cleavage, I guess Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit is the most tame person ever. You know she's a whore. <laughs> anyway, next one is episode 35, The Legend of Dratini. This episode it was a lot had a lot of uh, plot holes after it because people were wondering where Ash got his 30 Tauros from. This is the episode. The reason why it was banned was because the Safari Zone's keeper, I guess, was, <clears throat> was using his shotgun too much and uh, pointing it at people. Now, okay, why you're gonna they're, they're gonna ban a Pokemon episode for overuse of a gun, but yet no, they're not gonna ban Elmer Fudd for shooting bug at Bugs Bunny, or they're not gonna ban Yosemite Sam, but oh yeah, they're gonna ban a single episode of Pokemon because it has a projectile weapon. The next one is Electric Soldier Porygon. This is the most notorious one because a scene in this episode had a part where um, it had a red and blue flashing, flashing section which gave one, uh, I mean 800 Japanese children epileptic seizures. Now that is a serious thing. However, the reason why it was banned is not the reason uh, that they have told people. I mean, is not the real reason why the flashing happened. They're saying it is because of the a Pokemon Porygon, but that is not true. The Pokemon Porygon had nothing to do with it. The attack that caused the flashing lights were act was actually from Pikachu's Thunderbolt, I believe. Yes, it was from a Pikachu attack, but oh no, don't give Pikachu a bad name. Blame the Porygons. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, it was banned and told that it was because of the Porygon, but it was actually because of Pikachu's attack. Interesting, isn't it? Now, uh, next one. This one's a funny one. Episode 252, The Ice Cave. No one's seen this one. I don't believe on TV, but uh, this is banned because Jinx, this Pokemon right here, is considered a racial stereotype. Look at right, like right down here. See where the pointer is on the mouse? Yes, they considered Jinx a racial stereotype back then because Jinx has black skin. So in for later episode, not not episodes, later games in the Pokemon series, they have changed Jinx's skin to purple. That is pretty dang interesting, actually. At the but at the same time, it's twisted because. The people that thought that Jinx was a racial stereotype obviously has racism issues themselves because it would not come to mind. Okay, next one is 377, Shaking Island Battle, Barboat vs. Whiskash. This one was banned because of the recent earthquakes in Japan that caused... Um, a few de a bunch of deaths over there, I should say, and uh, I guess that's a legitimate reason for banning this episode because uh, Barboach and Whisk Wishcast use used a lot of earthquake moves in that episode, so it would have been in bad taste to air at that time. But at the same time, episodes before that, other Pokemon have used earthquakes, so that's not really a legitimate claim to ban this episode completely. And okay, let's scroll down here, and I'll, we're getting to the good stuff now. Okay, here is this an article I'm going to be posting near the bottom. Pokemon, it genuinely worries me from epinions.com. This is uh, uh, something that was also very controversial at the time because they have said that Pokemon encourages animal abuse and cockfighting back in the days. I mean, if you think about it, 
you know, it really does sound like you're pitting animals against other animals, but at the same time, Pokemon are intelligent creatures who fight of their own will. You know, it's not because we are torturing the animals to, uh, how, how do I say it, torturing them to become vicious so they fight in, a, in some sort of arena. So, definitely Pokemon does not encourage animal abuse or cockfighting. In fact, they have even said, be kind to Pokemon in many of the games. And the final article, and this is my absolute favorite, is Satanism in Pokemon. It's, they're, they're saying, Pokemon is encouraging occult and Satanism. <laughs> now this, this is my one of my favorite ones. I'm going to link to that article just as well in the description. Uh, but right now, I'm going to quote some of the things right here, right now, and of course, debunk them as sarcastically and as humorously as possible. Okay, let's start from the beginning. What motivated us to do this booklet in newsletter form was an inquiry from a grandmother on the internet. She wrote, Dear George and Rita, thank you so much for interesting Cephas news. I have a question. What do you know about Pokemon? And they wrote back, My little grandson, who is only three and a half, okay, remember three and a half, but is already obsessed with Pokemon. And his mom, my daughter Deborah, who is not saved yet, buys him whatever he asks for. He has all the cards, counters, like toy money, and all the little plastic figures. The last time he visited us, he had his Pokemon cards, coins, and figures with him, and he was dreadful. He was rude, cheeky, wouldn't eat any lunch, tried to run away several times, bit his big sister hard on the arm, and made her cry. Now let's go back and read through this. Now first, let's just say the kid is three and a half. Okay, he's three and a half. He's starting to get a mind of his own. So he's thinking that he can do what he wants. That's what makes him che rude, cheeky, <laughs> wouldn't eat any lunch, tried the one race several times. He's a kid. Understand that he is a kid, you stupid people. <laughs> Don't blame it on the Pokemon. Either blame it on the kid getting his own mind or blame it on the parents for not raising the kid well. <laughs> Next up is uh, about a seventh through it. Uh, so Ash sets a gout again in search of more of the reclusive, power-filled little Pokemon. <laughs> His first step is to find the psychic Pokemon called Kadabra and snatch it from his telepathic pink-eyed trainer, Sabrina. With the ghost hunter at his side, it should be a singe. Now hold on a sec. He did. A a Ash was not going for a Pokemon called Kadabra in the anime. Did they even read or watch the anime before they made this article? He went to Lavender Tower to get a ghost Pokemon to fight K uh, Sabrina's Kadabra. Now, <laughs> next thing that I noticed is that they said the pink eyed trainer. What? Okay, maybe in the games she has been depicted with pink eyes in the illustrations of her. However, um, in the anime she has blue eyes.